Janet Nakagaba, a project engineer at the Entebbe Express Highway, has warned people against using the new road, saying it will be opened in May this year. She says using the road in its current state is dangerous to the users. Apparently, the road has not been handed over, but the public is very much interested in using it. We have tried to block it, but some people come and forcefully open it and use it. So that shows how much the people are in their need of using this project. However, we still appeal to the public to be patient, to be a little bit patient with us because May 2018 is not far from now. The dangers of using this road before it is completed is that one, people are overspeeding. In some sections we have not yet finished marking, so it's not very, the demarcations are not very clear of where the two should, the, the, the users should pass, the vehicle users should pass. And also the signages are not yet in place, though we have asked the contractor to place them very soon. So it's a bit dangerous. There are reports of people who are extorting money from motorists who are using the road. She says although some of these people wear overalls resembling those worn by construction workers, they are not authorized to collect money from the motorists. If we have put a notice right from the beginning that this road is out of bounds to the public, you, are, you read and even the signages are there. Why do you go ahead when someone tells you give me something? Why do you go ahead to, when you can clearly read the notice? So the people who are collecting the money, they are doing it illegally. They are not UNRWA staff. They are not staff of the contractor. They are not staff of the consultant. They are not staff of the project management. Security has also warned the public against using the road to avoid exposure to criminals. According to police spokesperson Emilian Kaima, people may end up being victims of crime when using the road. In my honest, in my honest view, I take it upon myself to engage with you and say, if a road is under construction, who takes care of that? Security is our prison. But who takes care of this road? Because the vehicles use that road. It's not yet. It's not yet open for use. But they use it. Now who is wrong? Is it the contractor? Is it Yudra? Is it the police? Is it the motorist? Honestly, I will take a step into their offices and have a chat with them so that we agree. Because that crime, you can live. They lift this barrier and let you go. But do we know where we are going? Maybe you could reach ahead and they close it and commit a crime against you. So why is the police not swinging into action? My promise is I will not to have a chat with them, understand this. Then we shall support that system that is acceptable and enforce it. Kaima says he has information that construction of the 49-kilometer road is at 86%. The reason the official opening is expected in five months from now. The toll road connects Kampala to Entebbe International Airport. It is funded by the Exim Bank and Government of Uganda will be expected to pay back 476,000 U.S. dollars.